But in addition, yesterday, I decided to submit a, a white paper to the United Nations, basically calling for um, the creation of a, a committee that will analyze uh, what we know about interstellar objects, objects that come into the solar system from outside, similar to 3i Atlas. A vast star field. Silence. Then, an object glides into view. A comet glowing faintly, cutting across the dark. Imagine this, a frozen traveler from another star system, racing through space at impossible speed. Astronomers name it 3i Atlas. But soon they realize it doesn't behave like any comet we've ever known. First, Atlas revealed iron and nickel, but not the way it should. Nickel was everywhere, constant, steady. Iron, however, appeared late, almost as if it was hiding locked away until the sun's heat forced it out. A chemical puzzle unlike any other comet in our solar system. And then, a stranger possibility. At its closest approach, October 29th, 2025, Atlas will be traveling 68 kilometers per second. At that speed, just a small nudge, eight kilometers per second, could change everything. It could alter Atlas's destiny from escaping into the void to becoming forever trapped in our solar system. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb is sounding the alarm. He has submitted a white paper to the United Nations, calling for a global committee to study interstellar objects like Atlas because their behavior is too extreme, too unpredictable, and potentially too dangerous to ignore. What is Atlas? A comet, or the first whisper of something far stranger? Astronomers believe they had a fairly clear picture of the enigmatic traveler known as 3i Atlas. Its nucleus, they claimed, carried nickel but no iron, an unusual feature that set it apart from familiar celestial bodies. But now a fresh discovery has cracked open the mystery even wider. It turns out iron is indeed there, hiding, waiting, yet like a secret that only reveals itself under the right conditions. It appears only when the comet drifts closer to the sun, within 2.64 astronomical units of its blazing influence. Beyond that invisible boundary, iron remains absent, as if deliberately concealed. Such a revelation leads to a troubling question. Could this discovery finally help put to rest the whispering speculation that 3 I Atlas might be an alien probe? The unsettling answer, no. In fact, it may make the enigma even more puzzling. Observations from the Very Large Telescope in Chile show that even when iron does emerge, its abundance is overshadowed by nickel. Nickel is present at every distance, but iron only steps onto the stage when the sun's heat grows intense enough. This creates a bizarrely high nickel to iron ratio, so unusual that it raises more questions than it answers. Why would iron hide? What mechanism is keeping it locked away? Scientists have begun whispering theories, each one sounding more like a plot twist than the last. Perhaps nickel and iron exist in different chemical disguises. Organometallic carbonyl compounds with unique sublimation points, allowing nickel to escape into space long before iron does. Or maybe the comet's nucleus itself is playing gatekeeper blocking iron until the heat grows unbearable, forcing it to break free. One thing is certain, with every discovery, 3i Atlas grows less ordinary, less predictable, and far more mysterious. This chemical behavior on 3i Atlas seems to be odd when compared to the comets we've cataloged in our own solar system, or even the famed Interstellar Visitor 2 I Borisov. Ordinarily, as a comet warms on its approach to the sun, nickel and iron are released together, their ratios remaining roughly balanced. It's a steady, predictable duet of metals, synchronized by the laws of chemistry. But Atlas? Atlas sings a far stranger tune. What astonished researchers next was that Atlas was not waiting for the sun's warmth at all. Even while still shivering in the distant cold, far from the heat that should awaken it, the comet was releasing both nickel and iron in unusual abundance. 
At those frigid distances, the grains of silicate, sulfide, and metal that typically lock away such atoms should remain stubbornly solid, impervious to space. Yet somehow Atlas was bleeding them into its glowing coma, an act that defies the very expectations of cometary physics. Atlas, already classified as a dicarbon-depleted comet, seemed determined to emphasize its uniqueness. In the early phases of its activity, it displayed extreme behavior, wildly disproportionate production rates, and bizarrely skewed abundance ratios of nickel and iron. As if the metallic oddities of 3I Atlas weren't enough, another team of astronomers decided to probe deeper, this time using a technique called polarimetry a way of studying how light waves twist and turn after bouncing off cosmic dust. What they found only added fuel to the growing enigma. When sunlight reflects off a comet's dust, the resulting light usually wiggles in a pattern scientists classify as either positive or negative, fitting neatly into categories built from decades of comet studies. But Atlas refused to fit its light wiggled in a powerfully negative way, about minus 2.77%, a value so extreme it placed the comet outside any known group. It wasn't like the high-polarization comets. It wasn't like the low-polarization ones. It wasn't even like the rare exceptions, such as Hale-Bopp or the interstellar visitor 2I Borisov. Atlas stood utterly alone. The strange signature hinted at something startling. Atlas might have more in common with distant, icy bodies lurking beyond Neptune, the shadowy trans-Neptunian objects and centaurs, than with the familiar comets that sweep closer to the sun. And the surprises didn't stop there. The comet's light showed a reddish trend, the telltale sign of unusual surface materials, alongside evidence of water ice hidden in its coma. This seemed to align with multiple independent previous observations by telescopes. While initial predictions suggested it might be water ice rich, recent observations, particularly from the James Webb, indicate that water ice amounts to a small amount. The object is rich in carbon dioxide. Additionally, there are small amounts of water vapor, carbon monoxide, and carbonyl sulfide. By early October, Astronomers were in a race against time. 3I Atlas soon, it would vanish entirely, hidden by the blinding glare of our star. For weeks, Earth and this interstellar wanderer would be on opposite sides of the sun, the object cloaked in an impenetrable curtain of light. The timing of its disappearance only deepened the tension. On October 29, 2025, Atlas would reach its perihelion, the closest point in its path around the Sun. But unlike most comets, its closest was still remarkably distant, 1.36 astronomical units, or about 203 million kilometers, nestled between the orbits of Earth and Mars. At that moment, it would be flying at a blistering 68 kilometers per second, the fastest it would ever travel relative to the Sun. And here lies a fascinating possibility whispered among astronomers. Perihelion is not just a turning point, but a place of potential transformation. For an object like Atlas, moving on a hyperbolic escape orbit, this fleeting moment is the only time a relatively small push, a velocity change of just eight kilometers per second, could alter its fate. Such a maneuver could prevent it from escaping into the void forever, instead binding it into a permanent orbit around our star. Whether by natural forces or something engineered, a shift at perihelion could decide the destiny of this cosmic stranger. But just as Atlas approached this crucial threshold, the universe conspired to blind us. During the solar conjunction, every eye we turned toward it went dark. Earth-based telescopes could not separate its faint glow from the sun's overwhelming light. The world's observatories fell silent. No optical data, no spectra, no images. For weeks, a gap in the record yawned open. The only slim chance came from solar probes, machines meant to study the sun itself, not a faint comet hiding in its glare. 
It was as if Atlas had chosen this moment to cloak its secrets, unseen and unreachable. By late November, it will emerge again, sliding out from behind the sun's shield. And then the final truth. With its immense speed and an orbit that leads only outward, Atlas will never come back. Therefore, Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb raised the alarm, not just about Atlas itself, but about what its arrival represents. In a striking move, he submitted a white paper to the United Nations, urging the creation of a dedicated committee to study interstellar objects. Black Swan events are surprising, highly impactful, and have major consequences that challenge existing knowledge or assumptions. We have to be prepared, Loeb warned, pointing to Atlas's extreme speed, its sharply hyperbolic trajectory, its unusual polarimetric signal, and its strange chemical composition, features that set it apart from every comet we've known, whether bound to our sun or passing through from another star. Meanwhile, around the world, governments are also beginning to react to the phenomenon related to UAP, or Unidentified Aircraft Phenomena UAP. UAP can refer to anything from unknown natural phenomena or human-made technology to potentially unexplained or mysterious objects. In Japan, the subject has moved from the fringes of speculation to the very heart of national security policy. What was once dismissed as fantasy is now treated as a serious matter of defense and preparedness. The newly formed UFO Diet Members League, a coalition of parliamentarians that includes none other than the Prime Minister himself, has begun shaping official policy around these elusive phenomena. Their philosophy is stark. Any unidentified object entering national airspace must be treated as a threat, not only to security, but also to the safety of the skies. Behind the scenes, Japan is also working closely with the United States, which designated Japan as a hotspot for UAP activity in a 2023 report. The collaboration highlights a growing recognition. These phenomena, whether natural or engineered, are no longer curiosities. They are real, measurable, and possibly consequential. As Atlas streaks through the solar system, slipping beyond reach, Earth's governments are quietly preparing for other anomalies that may not be so distant or so silent. The sense of urgency grows. If the universe is full of surprises, how many more are already on their way?